Welcome to Mad Mike Makes and in this video I'm going to be making a little gauge that uh, I'm going to be using just to check my fence and my saw blade to make sure that they are actually parallel to the slot on on the actual saw um, and I'm going to be using uh, a laminated piece of off-cut floorboard a dial gauge a hole saw and a cordless drill. So stick around, I'm going to be right back. Now of course if this is your first time here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Thank you. And of course ring the bell in order to receive notifications of future videos. Okay, so what we're going to do here is um, we're actually going to cut a, a hole in that bit of floorboard. And that's going to be the bit that's going to slide up and down. I'm then going to cut a piece of this down because it's just about the right thickness for the slot. Um, and I've actually run out of this uh, sort of plastic. I need to pick some more up. This one's for another slot. As you can see, it's, um, you know, it doesn't fit into the slot properly. So I've got to make a, a new one and I'll be using the floorboard offcut for that. So here I'm just going to position the dial gauge and I'm going to make sure that um, the pin sticks a little bit past the blade just so that I can push the pin in and then reference against any part of the blade um, that I want to. Okay, so I just went along to the drill press and uh, with the hole saw just drilled a hole and I must be honest it's a little bit of a tight fit so I'm just going to give it a very light sand and just see if it pops in there a bit easier yep that's it that's great that's perfect square it up Thank you. 
now it's going to be a case of just fixing this and obviously this has to be or should be square it doesn't have to be but it would be better if it is square i guess so double-sided tape would really be the ideal thing to use here and i just don't seem to be able to find mine and it's probably time to build a tape rack actually so i can find all of these things Oops, that moved a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to use two 16mm um, screws for now. I want to just see if the concept actually works before going to a lot of trouble. Okay, so with the dial gauge set to zero, let's have a look and see what the blade is doing. So that is 0 0.6 millimeters out from the slot. Now, I don't know if that is out a lot but it looks like my next video is going to be how to align the blade to the mighty gauge slot so in closing um how this gadget came about and this video subsequently is i was actually cutting some shoulders on some tenons with my table saw sled and i actually noticed that the cut wasn't lining up as i was kind of going uh, around the four sides of the piece of timber and i thought well you know that's got to be the table saw sled and i pretty much ripped that apart and it wasn't that and that's when i came to the realization that it's probably uh, the the blade uh, of the saw um, because obviously the the table saw sled runs in the tracks that the uh, mitre gauge tracks so but i thought well you know it's a handy little tool to line up the fence as well so um my next video is probably going to be how to line up that blade get that 100 percent um because it definitely does have an effect on on uh, when you're cutting with a with a table saw sled um, and so yeah, keep your eye open for that one. So I hope you found this uh, video useful and um, that you'll perhaps make your own uh, dial gauge gadget that you can use to line up your fence and your saw blade. So until next time, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.